Hey guys, it's Jared. Uh, this is the first time I've ever made a video like this, so bear with me a little bit here. But I wanted to talk about one of my corgis, Hulk, today. And I have two corgis, Hulk and Ace. Hulk's uh, a little over three, and Ace will be two at the end of this year. And Hulk, uh, when I first got him, he lived the life of a normal puppy. Um, he got to you know, go to the beach for the first time. Uh, both of my dogs come to work with me every day. I work on a 300 acre avocado farm here in North San Diego County. And they've got uh, a heck of a life. They get to run around all day. They don't have to stay in an apartment. They don't need to go to doggy daycare or, or anything like that. They're with me everywhere I go. And uh, Hulk started getting a little pudgy after he broke his leg when he was about a year old. And after we got through the surgeries to help correct the leg and, and everything else, he had been off of that leg for about 16 weeks. He had to spend in a cast and uh, pent up and, and with limited exercise. So about the time it was ready for, he was ready to, uh, to start getting out and running around again, he really couldn't. And we thought it was because of his leg, because of the leg had broke and he was having some problems with it. And I started to get real honest with myself and, and real honest about what I was doing to Hulk. Uh, he was putting on weight, and he was putting on weight at a pretty uh, incredible pace. Corgis are supposed to be somewhere between 25 and 30 pounds, and Hulk was over the 35-pound mark. And, is a, and I was heavy, too. I, I mean, I had some weight that I needed to lose. And Hulk and I started on this mission. Uh, I started a bit before Hulk did. But Hulk started on this weight loss mission about uh, seven months ago now. And I can only tell you that the changes that I've seen in Hulk are absolutely incredible. Uh, the little problems, the little nagging issues that he had with his legs are no more. Uh, Hulk weighs in just a little over 30 pounds, so he's lost five pounds, uh, a good chunk of his body weight. And I can't tell you how big of a difference it's made in his life. He, uh, he gets up and runs around. He doesn't just kind of sit there and watch everybody go by. He gets to be a part of the action. So if you've got a dog that's overweight, I know it sucks. I, I hated to tell myself that, yes, I did this to Hulk. I fed him too much. He got too many avocados. He didn't exercise enough. But I'm begging with you, please, please manage your health, manage your pet's weight. It's so important. They can't tell you what's hurting, what's bothering them. You've just got to be able to kind of try to judge and make your best guesstimations of if you're doing the right thing. And, and like children, I mean, dogs, you know, sure, there's books out there, but each dog is going to be different. And uh, I guess this is my way of, of asking you guys to check on your pet, check on your dog, check on your cat, make sure they're getting in at a healthy weight. Uh, check with the vet and see where they're supposed to be. The changes that I have seen in Hulk are astounding. He is a completely different animal since we've cut this weight off of him. And and I would ask everybody out there, if you've got an overweight pet, ask yourself if your pet could stand to lose a couple of pounds and, and what that might mean for your pet's happiness. Because I know pet Hulk is a hell of a lot happier now that he's lost his weight and can get out and do some of the things that he wants to do. That's all I got, guys. Uh, that's it. Season.